Government 2305, American Federal Government, Module 1.09, Diversity. The United States has always been an extremely diverse nation with many different types of people from across the globe. The results were for a long time described as the American melting pot, a society that boils away differences and in every generation becomes homogeneous. More recently, diversity has been described in terms of a national mosaic. Every different group retains its identity while adding to the American whole. Whatever the metaphor, both versions signal an unusually open nation. Come to America and help shape a diverse but unified people. Remember the national motto, out of many, one, e pluribus unum? But that positive view of belonging and embrace of unity and difference has been sharply questioned throughout the country's history. Your textbook explains two different perspectives on the issue of diversity by contrasting the views of President Barack Obama with those of his successor Donald Trump. In his famous 2004 Democratic Party keynote address, then Senator-elect Obama explained his situation as follows. My father was a foreign student, born and raised in a small village in Kenya. He grew up herding goats, went to school in a tin roof shack. I stand here grateful for the diversity of my heritage, knowing that in no other country on earth is my story even possible. Obama presented himself as the embodiment of a multiracial immigrant cosmopolitan diverse nation unified around a common set of dreams and values. This view is that of the American mosaic, or what political scientists often describe as the salad bowl or stew pot model. In contrast, in 2016, Donald Trump stood before a crowd of supporters after riding down the glass and chrome escalator at Trump Tower to launch what many felt was at best a long shot campaign for the presidency. His message was quite the opposite of Obama's. Trump famously said, when Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best, they're not sending you, they're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with them. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're, they're rapists. Later in the same speech, Trump said, it's coming from more than Mexico. It's coming from all over South and Latin America. And it's coming probably, probably, from the Middle East. Obama's message of interracial and intercultural diversity was starkly contrasted by Trump's fear-mongering attempt to portray immigrants as dangerous people overrunning the homeland. This view reflects the traditional melting pot model where everyone jumps in and melts together, giving up culture and ethnic diversity in exchange for the right to be called an American. Through the, their dichotomous messages, these two men have shined a spotlight on a long and ferocious dispute about diversity. The 14th Amendment to the Constitution, passed by after the Civil War to integrate the former slaves into the political community, offers an institutional framework for a diverse people with a wide open definition of citizenship. Anyone born in the United States becomes a citizen. Almost no nation in Europe, Asia, or Africa offers a similar birthright citizenship to every person born on the country's soil. In addition, most American immigrants are eligible to apply for citizenship after five years in the country. A poem by Emma Lazarus carved into the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor, celebrates the diversity and calls people from around the world to join the American mosaic. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuge of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. At the same time, every generation of newcomers also provokes fears. Some citizens have pointed to the newcomers or black people on the margins of power like uh, black Americans or Native Americans and claim that they do not understand America's values. They will take our jobs. They will make life harder for us. They will ruin the nation as we have known it. Irish Catholics were reviled for decades starting in the 1830s. No Irish need apply was still marked in job advertisements in the early 20th century. Congress passed a Chinese Exclusion Act in 1882, responding to popular fears that politicians whipped up bigotry, 
people in the street harassed and spat at Chinese workers. More than a million Mexican Americans were deported during the Great Depression and widespread claims that they were stealing jobs from white Americans. And still the struggle by black Americans to achieve full rights and inclusion stretches right across American history. From the first person killed during the revolution, as you'll see when we describe the Boston Massacre in the next lesson, to a formidable Black Lives Matter movement in the 2020s. Opposition to a diverse people rises in part because each new generation really does change America by reducing, by introducing different customs, fresh ideas, distinct religions, and even new kinds of food. Every generation splits over a version of this question. Should the nation celebrate the latest generation of immigrants with Barack Obama or limit their numbers as Donald Trump argued we should? The debate over diversity goes right back to a question running through this book. Who are we? A distinctive feature of the United States is that the answer to that question is always changing. So let's review. The United States is a nation of people from different places, races, ethnicities, cultures, and religious beliefs. But there is a great debate that runs through American history. One is of the celebration of diversity, and the other is fear of the foreign, as can be seen in the dichotomous rhetoric of Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Some celebrate the national mosaic of diversity, which can be described as the American stew pot or salad bowl model, where everyone is allowed to keep his or her diverse heritage, while others would like to limit these differences in favor of a homogeneous America, which is famously enshrined in the idea of the American melting pot.